So, you've decided to hammer that. You have protection and a willingness to try new things. You've come to the right place. Let's start hammering that. My name is Ruby Zoom from Big Drill Energy. I might have already said that for the fifth time. <laughs> oh my god! Yay! So, this is now hammer ASMR. Let's bring in our first contestant. The framing hammer. Oh mine. Why do you ask? Well, this bad boy is the only hammer that can add and remove nails, so keep that in mind. Also, don't use this hammer with metal. It's fragile and it will break. Don't tell it I said that. Anyways. <laughs> what would you use that hammer for? Well, other than being a sh off mime, you use this hammer. Uh, for wood. It's primarily for driving nails into wood. Do not use this hammer with metal. Do not throw this hammer at other people. That goes for all of the hammers today, actually. Next hammer. Up next. We have one of my favorites, ladies and gentlemen. The ball peen hammer. And for all of you Iron Maiden fans out there, well, I have the biggest Iron Maiden fan for you right here. Ball peen hammer. Metal on metal. All day. Every day. This is kind of a small one, but when I have it, my apartment is better. Don't tell my dad. Next up on the agenda, we have the BFH. That's the big hammer. AKA the dead blow hammer. <laughs> Do you like going to the beach? Well, how about inside of a hammer? Because fun fact about a dead blow hammer, they are full of sand, and I recommend keeping that way. Don't try to cut one of these open because that ruins the point. Of the hammer. If bounce is an issue in your life, call 1 800 giant orange hammer and this will fix that. Next hammer. Or if the BFH doesn't cut it, this is the hammer for you. Light demo work, masonry nails, or driving steel chisels, aka the forbidden cheese. Have you ever felt down in your life? Well, Fun fact, at least you can't be replaced by fire, because this hammer can. This is a shrinking hammer. How do you use a shrinking hammer? Basically, a shrinking... is that in focus? A shrinking hammer has uh, pimples on the front of it, so that when you smack something that's flat, it crumples it up, much like when you don't do well on a test and you don't want to look at it anymore, so you crinkle it up and then it's smaller, and thus less of a problem. This is the body hammer. So, a body hammer, um, it just literally takes dents out of stuff, like, or puts them in. It's just another hammer, but more specifically, it's for sheet metal. Right over there, there's a sheet and there's some metal underneath it, and that's exactly the definition of sheet metal. Next hammer. Have you ever wanted to play bubble wrap, but with metal and a lot slower and more labor intensive because me too this is a pecking hammer a pecking hammer is used why not <laughs> um, a pecking hammer can be used one of two directions if you have a larger rise in the metal you can smack it with this end to make it a less rise and then if you have a smaller rise even than the other side, then you use this side and it's just like ding. This next hammer is one of my favorites. We have the air hammer. So, <laughs> this is what the air hammer looks like. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm playing a drop though, I'm I just need to sit down in my office chair. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've made it to the end of our hammer tail. And yes, you're probably seeing <laughs> Ruby, that probably wasn't super educational, but you know, it kept you entertained. And look at what we have here, we have a bunch of new friends.